Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get back on this bad boy. We're gonna heat treat it and see how high we can go with the finish. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. So, man, as you'll see in this video, I have struggled and fought these knives. I also heat treated these two kitchen knives, which whew, ended up just having to uh, anneal again and start over. They just got way out of whack. And by heat treating, everything went wrong. I've never had so many problems heat treating. But yeah, let's just get on it and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll put my website link up in the corner here and down the first in the description. I got my Instagram and my email, all that good stuff down there too. Hope everyone is staying safe through this coronavirus. I'm used to being isolated, but now they tell me I have to stay in. All I want to do is go out. So, whew, it's been rough. It's rough for us all. We just got to pull together as a community, as global unit, and uh, figure this thing out and make it through it. So, hope you all are staying safe. Let's get to it. I got the oven fired up. I got these all painted up with anti scale. Spoiler alert, uh, this is actually the second heat treat I had to do on these because uh, I put them in my big oven to temper because that's the only way they fit. And I left them for two hours. I came down, it was like midnight, and I just shut off the oven. And I guess since the, the insulating bricks hold so much heat, when I came down in the morning, these were all blue, which means the heat treat was ruined. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already seen that, but uh, I'll put some pictures of the blue. Both of them, all, all three, the kitchen knives and this, were all just uh, blue, which means they're less than a 55, so I'm redoing them. And since I forgot to uh, record this part in the first part, I figured I'd put it here and make it look like, uh, whew, I almost dropped that, you see that? Make it look like it's before the heat treat. <laughs> Little editing magic. I'll put a playlist of how I do my anti-scale and all that, all my heat treating up here. But uh, yeah, just figured I'd add this in since I missed it the first time. Let's get to it. Boom, here we go. All right, it's on 1500. I'm gonna put it in for like five minutes. I gotta turn the oil on too. I got a little stove that's under my oil that, so I keep it at like 120. Here we go, let's get her in there. I made a new deal that fell out the other day. All right, boom, we are in. Woo, <laughs> get this turned on there we go now I usually have like a, a rag glove or something that I'll use to wipe off the blade so let me get my other gloves on I got shoes on by the way <laughs> anytime I heat treat or sharpen here we go ah. we got the whole blade in so we're good Woo, that's hot <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't think I was going to be able to get it all the way in. I took the smoke alarms off, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. Whew, that was a good one. <laughs> now I can't get a good grip on it. Ah. Whew. And we just wipe it off. Ah, I should do this with my new glove. Damn it, that's how I rule my other glove. <laughs> yeah. I'm blocking everything, aren't I? <laughs> Alright. Woo! Let that one cool down. Get the next one in. Here we go. We're already back up to 1500, so... Let this open up a little bit, because we want that to cool down. Because our temps there are... 
193. We're already back. We're up to 193. So we want 10 minutes or so for the this to cool down. And all right, let's get these cleaned off. Woo! All right. Better not put that paper towel there just in case. <laughs> Yeah, see that 10 minutes gave us down to 150. Let's stir it up a bit. See if we can get down a little bit lower. Yeah, see, one, 130, we just dropped 20 points or 15 points. All right, the last two I dropped in the thing. So let's see if we can get these kitchen knives in nice and smooth. <laughs> Take our time. Good glove off, get my old glove. <laughs> Let's get the other one in, then we're done. At least done with heat treating, huh? Whew, look at that. Like 67, 68. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man. So I tested the other one and it's like a 66, 65, 66. That other one, that 68 seems a little high. So we'll break it. They're probably about a 67. All right, let's do the other one. Yep, the other one's right out of 65. So, all right, time to do the other side. See, this one says it's 68 again too, but... uh. Yeah, so we're over 65, somewhere between 65 and 68. Let's go test the machete. All right, so if you follow me on Instagram, this is the second This is the second time I heat treated I had to put it back in and all that. Now the first time I tempered it after the first heat treat, I came down at midnight and just turned the oven off. So I think when I tested it, it was a 55, but I tested these and I cleaned off the bevel. So this seems to just be a surface thing because this is between like a 60 and it's like a 60 or 62 which i went and i put these up on my tester and they became they were between a 60 and 62 and this one here's my 65 which skates you know so we're good but i saw the blue again if you follow me on instagram like i said i freaked out but anyway whew, look at the bow we got in this Hopefully we can see that it, it's real bad. It comes up like that and it comes out and then like this. I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to have to temper these one at a time because they're all, they're all pretty bad. This one's got a real big old banana like right in here. So I don't know if we'll be able to see that. This one, when I tempered it, it was on the floor of the oven and it came out bronze. So I think I'm going to put them all just on the floor of the oven under the coils and see how that works. Take out those blocks. But all right, let's get these on and get in the tempering. I found an old piece of, uh, I think this is D2 steel. I haven't used it, so uh, we're just gonna have to put it on that. The only thing else I have is 52 100, but it's only an eighth inch. So, this piece of mild steel just isn't long enough. It's close, but. So I'm just gonna use some shims and shim it up and try to get it all straightened out. Just remember if you're using like clamps like this to take off the uh, the rubber pieces. Luckily enough, I've done this so much that a lot of them burned off because I forgot and I got sticky stuff off. See, most of these have uh, I got half of them with the rubber on and half without. We just want to go a little bit past straight. Nah, no, nah, that's not it. Back right. So we're straight up to here. Looks like this piece is going to have to come up. It's 
it's got like an S hook in it. Yeah. So it needs a clamp. Let me get the third one out. So it looks like the last part is right here. Think that'll be it. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Let me go put this in. See what we can do. All right. We got two of them in there. So one kitchen knife and the whole thing. So hopefully they should be good. We're at 420. So we should be all right. Let's 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 hope. I took all these stands out. See, I just make stands out of fire bricks. I actually got that from uh, Red Path or Dirty Room Knives. You just take some stainless steel bolts and a fire brick and you're good to go. So in the oven, didn't really straighten it out. I mean, it straightened it a little bit, but not where I'd want it to be. So, uh, yeah, I already got it up to a, uh, let's see, where are we at? So I think uh, I already did a 50 and all that, so this is 120. I, I figure I might as well I figure I might as well straighten it out and get it all cleaned up and finish it for myself. I can't sell it because it's still got just a little crook right here. But, uh, yeah. Alright, live and learn. <laughs> the shape of this knife is just a little bit too big for this. Look, I knew I was doing the bevels over here. It would come up here, so I stopped here on this one. So, but uh, actually, we're not too bad. A little hot. Yeah. See, I can't sell this because it's still got a little crook right here. But uh, maybe I can grind that out. We'll see. Never give up. <laughs> I already broke the 90s. I was surprised how straight the line was. I mean, I got it pretty straight. There's a curve here that I'm going to have to bring out. But I'm hoping, since my bevels are up here, I can kind of fudge it. <laughs> we'll just make these bevels a little bit bigger. This is a 36. I'm just going to hog it out and then go to a 120. Well, I got some 80s that left over. We'll go from 36 to 80 and then see where we're at. <laughs> that little spot right there is where I surface ground it. Remember, I stopped right there. So the higher we go in grits, the more that will come out because that's like a A65, like the rest of this here. <laughs> that's all right, that little spot. But uh, I think we got her straight. I don't know if we'll be able to see that. I got it on manual focus, so I gotta keep it back here. <laughs> it's focused right here. <laughs> if I go up here, it'll get all blurry. <laughs> all right, let's get this side.
Now nah, it's starting to mess with me. If I look at it like that, it looks perfectly straight. Look at it right here, it looks like right here. It's coming out. Like this side is straight. So I need to work it right here. Let me get a pen. This isn't, this probably isn't the right way to do it, but. Yeah, then it looks like I gotta bring this over this way a little bit. I'll probably have to make it thinner, but that's all right. We'll do 80 and then 120. Fun times, fun times. <laughs> All right, we got an 80. I'm trying to think if I want to bust this out. Yeah, we'll just try it with the 80, bust it out. I usually wait to 120, but I might just go 80, 240, and then go A65. Or I might even skip the 240, go right to A65. All right. I'm gonna take a break and then come back. We almost got that out. <laughs> Still got a little crook right here in the spine, but that's all right. <laughs> this part's nice and straight. That's the killing side. That's all that matters. <laughs> Going right from 80 to 865. Uh, I did it here, but I will try it. It looks like I'm gonna have to go back down to like 120 because I can see some thick. But let's let's give it a shot and see how it works out. It's the end of the night anyway. I'll have to come back tomorrow and figure everything out.
Yeah, I'm just wasting my time. I'm gonna have to go back down to 120 tomorrow. But it was fun to try. <laughs> I'm just wasting the belt too. All right. Whew, that's about it. I'm gonna have to go back down to 120 and then go all the way back up. And then I'm interested to see how this the hormones turn out and how it etches because yeah, I had to do it twice and all that different stuff. So it should be interesting, definitely. All right, but that's about it. Stay tuned. The next we'll put handles on and get sharpened up and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Go check out my website. I got shirts like this, a bunch of knives, and all that good stuff on there. All right, hope you're staying safe. And as always, take it easy.